Hello, good evening, welcome back. Apologies, I've not done a video for a bit of time, uh, but we've actually been quite busy. A fair few bits and pieces been going on, uh, getting some great reactions to the album Distortions, of course, that came out. Loving some of the reviews that we're seeing and been doing some gigs as well. And uh, for those of you who have had a chance to come and see us live, thank you very much indeed. It, it's been wonderful to see you. And, uh, and I'm super very pleased to uh, provide the opportunity to introduce you to a special guest I've got with me today. So please, sir, would you be so kind as to introduce yourself and tell the people what brings you into the studio this evening? Good evening all. I was just passing and um, yeah, I came along. I'm For those of you who don't know me, I'm Chris from uh, great, Guitar and Vocals from Green Sabre, Guitar and Vocals from Crow's Blood and now Guitar in another venture. Yes, I would, I'm thrilled to announce that I am Guitars in Godthrim and I'm very excited about this. Yes, as am I. I'm super very pleased to be welcoming you to uh, The Fold. Because as the bands progressed, as you've heard on the album, it's um, very much a multi-guitar sound, and that's why we brought young Al Cottwell into the fold, had him guesting on one of the songs on the album, and then uh, he was great playing live with us for the shows that we've been doing. If you've, you've seen us this year, you'll have seen Al playing with us, and Al's been great, and uh, we thank him so much for his contribution, and uh, you know, it's sad to see him go but he's got his own project with Thunder Tomb and Throne and felt he couldn't commit the time so that gave the opportunity to be bringing someone into the mix and someone that I'm very keen to continue to work get closer with as well. We've got upcoming recordings coming up and so I was very keen to have a guitarist that could get really hands on involved so uh, once the opportunity came up it just seemed like a very good obvious choice to introduce Chris into the fold here and uh, if you've not heard Green Sabre then you must please go and check out the EP that's on Bandcamp it's, uh, it's fantastic and uh, you're going to be recording very soon as well with Andy Hawkins indeed no yeah, as well yeah. at the Nave when's yeah. that going to be? well originally we penciled it in for January but it just doesn't feel like we were quite there yet so I've pushed us back to um the sort of back end of April basically so um, where I'm thinking we're probably going to squeeze in another track as well I think I wanted to uh, to uh, yeah there's a couple of tracks on the back burner that I think are sort of there so yeah gave us a little bit extra time but I think everyone will benefit from this little bit of extra time so yeah. that's, that's fantastic I very much look forward to hearing it because the stuff that's out already is, is brilliant we had Green Sabre uh, playing with us at the show we did recently at the Greystone Unity in Halifax which was great fun and that some real doom riffage going on with some uh, great old friends coming and joining us that night as well so it was uh, quite quite wonderful i've just realized something quite cool well cool interesting i guess is that we as godthrum will be back in the studio before you're going in with green saber in fact yeah. because we are booked into the studio we are going in in february to be recording a new single as well so we've been working on a couple of new songs and uh, and yes we've just been playing with various tones and toys and things for guitar sounds and uh, stuff and looking forward to uh, a couple of songs that are going to serve as a bit of a bridge between distortions and projections as well and um, I'll try a couple of different things on there as well so i think you're gonna agree exciting times it most certainly is i mean i've been very busy over the last few weeks when um, when i first got the call from hamish here um the, and i've just been sort of um on cloud nine since really but yeah keeping myself busy i've been learning the set i've been learning these couple of new tunes and i was so excited to learn them i'm so excited for you lot to hear them they're great so yeah it's uh, it's coming along at um at lightning speed um but yeah i'm just i'm just thrilled to be in it and um thrilled to be working on this stuff um it, it's just yeah it, it's a bit of a dream come true really so um i'm gonna um 
take the proverbial bull by the horns and run with it and yeah i'm just so excited to get to get going um you gave me the call way back when was it second of november i believe and um yeah i've been working on it since then i've been doing my but i'm terrible at keeping secrets for those of you that know me um so i've been very good at sitting on this um for what seems like forever for me personally but yeah i'm I'm not only thrilled to do it, but I'm thrilled that the the news is out there now as well, so I can finally shout it from the car as I drive around the West Yorkshire area. I mean, you're clearly keeping yourself occupied with learning the stuff as well, because yeah. uh, you know you've got everything pretty much down pat. Thank you. Very yeah. quickly, which is which is great, and uh, it's, it's it's sounding grand. It's a very nice guitar you've got. Thank you. Yeah, I shall give you a few so sneak paints. So we've got a little. something I've been learning. There's the... I know that. There's that. It's a classic. There are so many others. I mean, sure. There's like... a couple of others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels like I've learned about a million songs, but in reality, I thought, what's there been, like, 12? Maybe? Yeah. So... Uh, it's a few. I mean, you know, some of them get a bit, a little bit longer. I know in Green Sabre you do long songs. Yeah, so... yeah. I. It's very much a kind of something that I don't, Want, I deliberately keep them long. In fact, when it, the writing process with it is almost sort of, oh, that's only eight minutes. So we need to fill out a uh, certain. So I almost deliberately make them longer than they need to be, quite frankly. So yeah, it's nice to have a few more concise, um, probably better constructed tunes, quite frankly, that I'm learning. So um, yeah, yeah, it's just so exciting. Well, the new songs coming up that we're going to be doing uh, and, and recording soon are on the the shorter end of the, of the spectrum I mean not, not too short I think we're looking at kind of like six and seven minutes um, but they're uh, you know certainly got a bit of movement to them and certainly a lot of melody a lot of weight to the, to the sound as well so we're just really looking at getting the most appropriate sounds which is uh, which is very exciting indeed but when it comes to the album because uh, if you've checked out any interviews we've been doing beforehand they're very keen to kind of really push the boundaries of the next one and, and really look at some kind of different Sonic soundscapes and so some stuff could well be varying into some really you know, fuzzed, drawn out, how might be like kind of territory, which is totally counterpointed by some other very kind of different tones and different you know, textures. So it's going to be interesting it's going to be, because we want uh, uh, additional kind of scope and, and ambition why they did the extra pair of hands because we really kind of like the essential. Happy and, held, um, and, uh, process and then the you know the enjoyment of the world is, is as much in the creation of it and so it's the completion so it's that was one of the greatest things to find out that that you want me from a sort of studio and creative perspective because I mean gigging's great fun we all know how much fun great gigs are but uh, my I, I just love the studio experience the creative experience that's where it just feels like you're working on your craft um where everything you zone out from everything else and this is it so yeah the, to get the chance to work on new godfrey stuff in that in that sense is just yeah i cannot wait to get started yeah, quite honestly look forward to move forward so i hope you'll join myself catherine bob and sean in welcoming chris on board and uh very much looking forward to announcing some shows coming up very soon where you'll be able to see Chris join us yeah. as well. And I'm not going to announce them just as yet. We'll um, drip feed those out as we uh, as we get them done. And uh, and uh, I you know, look forward to seeing you at uh, a show very soon so uh, yeah more videos to come more info to come uh, there's going to be stuff where we're talking through various bits and pieces guitars and uh, effects and, and things that we're into and stuff like that so um, this will serve as our introduction and I'll tell you there's a lot more to come as well so thank you very much thank you Chris thank you no thank you Hamish thank you and I look forward to seeing you all very very soon <laughs>